Uh, so I, I might have missed this because I just got here. Yeah. Um, so first I want to ask, you know, um, what? I'll uh, back to the gender issue, the one that's on your record. Um, is there? Is there some level of evidence that could change your mind on this that could compel you to go? Okay, I guess not. I will always read, and so like it, the funny thing is, I sat down with. Caitlyn Jenner for two and a half hours three days ago, and I learned stuff about the transgender debate that I honestly, I, obviously, if I learned it, I didn't know it, but it opened my eyes on a lot of different aspects of it. Most importantly, the surgery that it takes to get gender reassignment surgery, it's nothing to be joked about. Sure. And Caitlyn Jenner says that it's something that a 15 year old should never go through. That's what she said. So I, and do you notice I'm calling her she? Now, why would I call her she? Because she respectfully asked me. No one forced me to call Caitlyn Jenner anything, but she, we had a, we had a mutual connection. So as soon as we start to have laws which exist in California, where you force people to call something, some, some somebody something by under penalization of law, that's a problem. So sorry to. That's okay, but I, I'm just saying I, I'm, I'm happy to learn. I'll, I'll listen so, to anything. So is there just to, to your knowledge though? Is there some level of evidence like that you can say right now that could make you change your mind? That could make you go, oh, I guess there are more than two genders. If, if there's or compelling, or I don't know, zero, I, I if there's compelling evidence that there's anything beyond excluding intersex, chromosomal structure of XX, XY, or if there's compelling evidence that there's no difference between males and females, which I would love to read, but I don't see that. Uh, so. One question you said sure. earlier before, which was uh, tying chromosomes and gender, right? XY, male, XX, XX female. Yes, is, that, is that what you believe? Is that correct? Excluding intersex, yes. I mean, there are intersex people, but you don't have a rule for the exception. You have the exception, which is to the rule. But yes, okay. correct. That, it's not just what I believe. It's what biology accepts. Okay. Because I, I remember hearing not too long ago that a while back, I think before this became a, a, a bigger topic, was that they, you know, scientists were moving away from that, saying that like there are a lot of scientists who study people who typical male characteristics, genitalia, you know, picture or whatever, and vice versa. You know, males who look like males, feel like males, et cetera, et cetera, and got the chromosomes tested, and was like, oh crap, I've got two X chromosomes, that's weird. You know, well, whatever, but it's like, it's not a social thing to them. Like, they, they feel like they're, they're men. They, they, I mean, I could go into a test and I don't think I've got my chromosomes tested, and I could mm -hmm. see, oh gosh, I've got XX chromosomes, that's weird. I don't think it would change anything about so, the way I'm living my life, or whatever. And yeah. I feel like, I heard that that was something they noticed, and now they went, oh gosh, I guess gender is not, strictly speaking, tied to chromosomes anymore. Like, right, was a, so, was so the, the, here's the broader question, like why am I doing this? There's three big questions that need to be answered as a society that can be connected to this. Number one is the sex reassignment surgery for 15-year-olds without parental consent. That's, that stems from the transgender argument. I think that's wrong, that a 15-year-old can get sexual reassignment surgery without telling their parent, parents and taxpayers have to pay for it. I think that's wrong. Number two is specifically in the public education system, someone that's four or five or six years old, I think there's a certain way to raise boys and a certain way to raise girls. You might, people totally disagree with that, but young boys act totally different than young girls. They just do. And so you add the third box and you don't recognize <coughs> those differences, I think you do a disservice to a child trying to find their place in a chaotic and